just the guitar, okay, cool. Okay. I haven't flown this yet, so I don't know what it's going to do, but it should fly. Let's see about a flip. Flies pretty good. Now you check the motors. Not bad. They're not even hot. So these props suck, but I'm not going to be using them on this particular quad. But they do work on some quads. Like uh, brushless ones and whatnot that take uh, 1.8, 1.9 inch props. But anyway, this is a uh, frame that I got from a guy on Facebook. Uh, his name is Kenny Cox. And I will leave his info in the description because uh, he does sell these. And this is polycarbonate. Uh, it's three millimeters thick and uh, one and a half for the top plate. It comes with these M3 standoffs and screws. And it's cut pretty nice. I believe he said it uses a laser, the laser cutter. And. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't have any FPV on it yet, but I did take an Eachin MC01, and it does fit right behind here just perfectly. So, that's cool. I just got a uh, one of those Happy Model F3 boards in here with a Lemon Satellite and a Nano QX2 battery. And uh, Kenny also gave me these motors to try out. They are Spintex. So, um, they're pretty nice motors. They remind me of uh, Micromotor Warehouse ones. So, we'll see how they do. Um, I'm going to swap props. I, I did pick up some props that I've never tried before, and they ended up turning out, they turned out really shitty. These are the Furious FPV 66mm ones. And they look nice. They feel nice. They bend nice. But the biggest problem is they don't have the center hollowed out to go over the top of the motor there. So in your first crash, it's going to push that bottom right out. So that's why I won't even use these. But I did try them out, and this is what my quad did. That's how it flew. So, yeah, they suck. Don't get Furious FPV 66mm props. You will be very disappointed if you do. Okay, so, uh, I will do another video when I get my new camera in. I got the Eachin TX-02 on the way. That's going to fit in here really nice. These are 15mm uh, standoffs, and the Eachin TX-02 is 13mm tall, so it's going to fit perfectly in there. So, yeah, when I get that in, I will uh, do a review of it, and then I will put it on here and do some more flying around and stuff, and... So, yeah, there you go. Uh, let me see if I forgot anything. Oh, um, so these holes, they're 10 millimeter holes. And he has these little 3D printed, uh, they're made out of TPU. They're real soft and squishy. Um, so that they wrap around the 8 millimeter motors and fit in there nice and snug, just like how a Picnic motor does. Or, I mean, Picnic quads frame 
motor slide in there real nice and stiff and that's just how this is too so it works really good and then if you ever wanted to use those 10 millimeter motors which banggood is now selling they fit in here they fit in here without the uh, little mounts perfectly so yeah uh, i think that's about all i have to say it's a nice frame i like it a lot and um kenny is selling them so i will give you his info if you want to get a hold of him to buy one i'm not sure how much he's charging but i'm sure it's a fair price all right thanks for watching all right i'm gonna fly it again with some uh, clear hubs and props Battery's almost dead. Flies pretty nice. It just needs, uh, if I was to put one of those 600 milliamp hour nanotechs on here, fully charged, it would be real fast. So it's nice and light. Actually, I will uh, weigh this for you. Keep in mind, though, that it's without the FPV. So that cam weighs four and a half, so 59 and a half. Not very light. So we'll just compare these two weights. This one's ready, completely ready to fly. 55. This one, no FPV. 55. <laughs> so identical weights, but this one has no FPV, so this is going to get another 4.5 grams. So it's probably the poly or the standoffs that are given the extra weight. I may end up uh, swapping to M2 standoffs that's about all I can do to save weight so we'll see I'll do another video with it